Movement from Tina coming in, taking the attack on, no hesitation. Looks a lot more positive at the start of this second set. Deception overhead. Service over. Reverse Two, slice. Five. Again, creating the time for that shot though with a very, very early take at the net, the stroke before. Very, very early in the forecourt at the moment. Tina's got to be careful with that. Brilliant. There is the angled smash that Kenneth Jonasson was over. urging her to play. Six, two. And that's more the rally I thought we'd be seeing from Tina. Two quick shots to the rear court and then the quick, quick cross smash. Just keeping Lulan back, further back in the court, keeping her off the net where her strength is. Oh, it's landed on the line. Oh, good by the line judge. Seven, two. And with Danish fans here in Birmingham. Good time for Tina there, controlling the length very well. I mean, the over. level of deception Three, with the overhead seven. shots from Lulan. In fact, with all the Chinese players, women's singles players, it's a real trait with them. The amount of deception they create with those overheads. When you go and see them training in their own centre, the amount of repetition they do as young seven. players is really Four, impressive. They'll, they'll be hitting that shot 20, 30 minutes at a time when they're young, just to groove that so that when they come under pressure, they can produce it. Back to the same place. Down to New Land's forehand side. Clever tactical play. Yeah, Tina just bringing a bit more variety into the game. Just making Lulan, just keeping her off balance a little bit now. There's a little bit of a shift in balance of power here, I think. Of course, when they met each other in the All England final. Two years ago, it was three games. It was 22-20 in the deciding game in favour of the day in 56 minutes. So I think we can expect a long Service match over. here. Five, yeah, eight. It, yes, it looks that way. But again, Tina's got to be careful there. Again, she's just let Lulan get early on the net, and that's a point gone. See the frustration in her body language after she made the error. I mean, I was just looking, both players, the amount of court they had to cover in that Seven, rally. Back eight. to front, side to side. Yeah, I mean, both players trying to use the diagonals there and a real, a really, really gruelling rally there. That will have hurt both of them a little bit. And it's who stands up over these rallies now. Who's going to give the easy points away after a long rally like that? 201 kilometres per hour. That's about 124 miles per hour. A couple of times in the last three rallies that she's made that error on that attempted cross-court drop shot. Yeah, and I think uh, Lulan won two points there with the long rally. She put the long rally in, she controlled the diagonals, and then Tina just reduced the margins on the next rally, and the mistake came. Four straight points to Lulan. Get back level. Ah! Uh, 
Yes. Yeah. Seemed to me a lot Service more over. urgency Nine, in that rally eight. from Tina Black Rasmussen. Report, Very aggressive, but it was controlled aggression, and I think that's probably the key. I think it's one of the problems when you do have a couple of injuries and you, you don't get the quality matches for a period of time. It's very, very difficult to find a rhythm at this level against the world's best players. And I think Tina's still just struggling to find that level of consistency at the moment. Has landed in. Misjudgment from the day. Nine all. see a little bit of the drift you were talking Ten, about Jill nine. just that left to right drift if you're hitting cross and long to the rear court there the air currents will just catch that from this end it's a good lift but she was in real trouble there the day and produced the most the wonderful lift right to the back of the court she got herself right back into the rally and it means that she goes to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage. So once again the coaches come onto court to offer advice to their players. Yeah. Også for at øh, så hun ikke kan gå ind og lave hendes, øh, sin standard stå hele tiden, ikke? Høj eller kort. Ja, og jeg er hele tiden længden også på det korte sager. Det er rent fejl, det er mod players. Kan det bruge sig? Encouraging. For the Royal Guard at Amelienborg. The Royal Palace in Copenhagen. Kan det bruge sig? Certainly, the Danish fans will be hoping that Erasmus can build on this yeah. two-point advantage. Oh. Yeah. Tight spin neck shot, control at the front of the court, imperative. Yes, but the, it, was the, it was the smash before that that just kept Lulan off the net, and that gave Tina the time to come in and take control of the net. And that's certainly going to be one of the keys if Tina is going to turn this match around. Service over. The high backhand. That's Ten, always a sign that the player's in trouble. Players much prefer to play what we call around the head shot, where they play with a normal overhead action, even though it's deep into their backhand corner. Just long. Service over. 13. Just Ten. wonder a little bit, Ian, about whether Mulan's match yesterday evening an hour and seven minutes against Susan Egglestaff from Scotland that might have an influence on the outcome of today's match if Tina Rasmussen can take this the full distance certainly if Tina can stick in she may have a slight physical advantage Lou Lan uh, throughout the years has been has been known to just physically suffer a little bit at the end of long three set matches and I'm sure that's in the back of Tina's mind just encouraging her at the moment yeah I remember her playing the bronze medal playoff match at the Olympic Games in Beijing in 2008 no! lost out that bronze medal match of course 12, to the 13. In the and I thought at the end of that match physically she was so drained she just couldn't live with it so but service fault, service fault called service over shuttle struck 14, above the waist says chris 12. taylor our service judge several 